So the other week, I made a video going through the complete history of Nintendo's Retro Edition systems, and as I was making that video, it kind of dawned on me how limited Nintendo's Retro Edition library of systems truly is. Over the years, we have received plenty of NES and Super Nintendo Entertainment System Edition consoles, as well as Famicom Editions and Super Famicom Editions, but for whatever reason, despite it being 2024, we are yet to receive a single retro edition system based off of the Nintendo 64, based off of the GameCube, and based off of the Wii. And I just find that so bizarre because, in my opinion, these three systems are all retro consoles these days. Luckily for the GameCube, it is definitely one of the more popular Nintendo systems of all time at the moment, and because of that, it has received a lot of love from third parties and just passionate Nintendo fans with the Nintendo Switch, so there are a bunch of third-party GameCube-style Joy-Cons out there that you can buy, and these do an amazing job at representing the GameCube controller on Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons, so in a way, through third-party companies and passionate Nintendo fans, we kind of, sort of, already have GameCube Edition Joy-Cons, which is very nice to see. However, that is definitely not the case for the Nintendo 64 and the the Nintendo Wii. And unfortunately for the Nintendo 64, I kind of understand why there are no special edition systems based off of it, because in my opinion, the Nintendo 64 has one of the most plain and vanilla designs out of any Nintendo console that has ever existed. There just really isn't a lot here on the design that is iconic enough to translate across to any of Nintendo's modern systems through a special edition design. I think the most iconic thing of this system is the controller itself, which I guess could be used to create a special edition system design, but I don't know, it's just nowhere near as compelling to me. On the other hand, I do feel like the Nintendo Wii has some serious potential to be an amazing concept for a special edition console design. It's one of Nintendo's most popular systems ever made, and it definitely has an iconic design design that is pretty much instantly recognizable. And the other good thing about the design of the Nintendo Wii is I feel like it would be really easy to translate it across to, say, a Nintendo Switch, for example, and that is exactly what I've done, and it's what we're going to go through in today's video. But before I go through the design, let's figure out what the key traits of the Nintendo Wii are. These will be the core aspects of the Wii's design that we will want to transfer across to its special edition concept. And for me, the key aspects of the Wii's design are firstly, its color being white. I know that there were a few other color models you could have gotten, but I think it's fair to say that the vast majority of Wii owners just had the standard white color. Alongside this, you've got the material. The Wii has this glossy plastic design to it, which I think would be really important to transfer across to a potential Nintendo Switch design, because obviously, with the Switch, we've already got the white OLED model, which in a lot of ways shares a lot of similarities to the design I'm about to show you, but I think one of the key differences that will set my design apart from this design is the material on the Joy-Cons, which will not be the standard matte plastic design, but it will be instead that glossy white plastic, just like it is on the Nintendo Wii. Other than this, you've got the grey Wii stand, which, you know, most people probably used. And then you've got some features on the Wii mode. So you've got the plus and minus button, the home button, the translucent white A button, and I guess that's pretty much it for the remote. But those are the key things that I also wanted to bring across. And this is what I came up with. The cat 
So as you can see, the design of the tablet and the Joy-Cons are really nothing too crazy here. It really is just a white color scheme with a few of the buttons of the Wiimote pretty much just translated onto a Joy-Con. So for the A, B, X and Y buttons, as well as the directional buttons on the left Joy-Con, you've got that translucent gray color and then the plus and minus buttons are just ripped off of a Wiimote as well as the home button. And that's pretty much it for the buttons on the Joy-Cons. I think it's a very simple idea but it definitely does resemble the design of the Wii pretty effectively in my opinion. Now with this design you're looking at here, I know I was talking about the glossy plastic of the Wii being translated onto the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons and on this design it doesn't really show that so you're just gonna have to use your imagination in that area. Just pretty much picture this exact design you're looking at but with that glossy white plastic on it of the Nintendo Wii. Hey guys, it's me in post editing here and I'm just messing around with the design in Photoshop a little bit and playing with the contrast settings, you can see that if I just turn it up a little bit like this, it kind of increases the brightness of the white on the Joy-Cons as well as the tablet itself and I feel like it does a little bit of a better job at showing what I was trying to show with the glossy white Wii plastic. So this is maybe a better representation of that but as you can see when I turn the contrast up it also messes around with the buttons a little bit so for the rest of the video I'll just keep it as the regular design but when I was saying to imagine it with the more glossy plastic this is kind of what I meant there but anyways back to the video other than that, there's really no other major changes. Uh, it's just a white Nintendo Switch with a few of the key design features of the Nintendo Wii translated across. And in my opinion, that's all a Wii edition Nintendo Switch would ever need to be. It doesn't need to be some crazy complex design. It just needs to resemble the system it's based off. And luckily enough, in this case, the Wii has a pretty simple design. So it leads to a pretty simple design on the Nintendo Switch. And for the dock, I decided to use this as the vehicle to kind of represent the Wii's grey stand. So as you can see there on the dock, the bottom section of it is grey and then also on the side of the dock, you can see it's got that little grey section there as well and that is just meant to represent the Wii stand really. And yeah, that's pretty much the complete design for the Wii edition Nintendo Switch. I want to quickly shout out my friend Tiddos for helping me actually create this design because I pretty much had the idea for this in in my head but I just suck at Photoshop so much I really couldn't get it to look right so I reached out to him and he was able to whip this up in like 20 minutes he is an absolutely amazing graphic designer and obviously knows how to handle Photoshop as well so big thank you to you Tiddos for making this happen uh, I'll have a link to his Twitter in the description below I definitely recommend you go check him out at Beast Graphic he does a lot of cool pieces of art over there but anyways that is it for this video so I do hope you guys enjoyed it and please let me know what you think about the design down below. Do you agree with me? Do you think the Wii deserves a special edition system? Let me know in the comments down below. There will also be a couple of my other videos on the screen right now to check out so please 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 do that. Thank you.